today's video is going to be something I really didn't expect to do. But it has something to do with what's been going on lately and what I've heard. What you guys don't realize is Lucifer does visit you when you're sleeping. And he'll have ways to kind of sneak into a, a dream that you have. I've had this numerous times. Especially to the point where you have like a spiritual war and you're basically fighting your way and you're basically fighting against them too. It's like a certain reality that's similar to ours ends up being torn apart to become more of a hell. And you're in there fighting. Well, a couple of days back, I've had a dream of being in, in another world similar to ours, but just different locations you've never been. I was visited by Lucifer. And here's the reason why Lucifer visited me. Last Sunday, Lucifer came to me in a possessed body, like always, being like he's who he is, trying to be the tough guy against me, and you already know how that works. It doesn't work really well for me. As I was hearing him talk, I ended up speaking these random languages, these thing I created a long time ago. I didn't think it was going to be a big deal, all right, but hear me out. Does it sound to you it would be part of an ancient language, maybe? Let me give you a little example. Okta Sorvish Partum Vara Agnu. When you hear those words, does it sound like something ancient? Apparently to Lucifer, it is something, an something ancient. Because he brought up something I never thought he'd bring up. 16th century. He told me in his words in that dream, who was I in the 16th century? Knowing me, I don't know myself or my past well. So he was very demanding about it. Like, who were you in the 16th century? So as... I opened the Bible a couple of days when I went home. I was speaking to the Father. And as he was explaining to me when I was telling him about Lucifer and what he did that day, he gave me a little bit of more of a listen to what Lucifer was saying to you. Like, listen to what he's saying. Like, listen closely. And I heard what he was saying. When I was listening really clearly. Because when you're far, you hardly don't hear what's going on. But it always sounds like a certain thing you hear it. I told I told the father, it sounded like he said, you can speak whatever you want. But it won't change anything. Right? That's how it sounded to me. But father, Jesus Christ told me. No. Like, no. Listen. Real closely. As I paid attention, it sounded to me Lucifer was saying, how do you know how to speak that that language? How do you know how to speak that ancient, that, that ancient language? Like, how do I know how to say it? How did you know? How did you learn that? It's kind of like that. So now, I'm at that point in my life thinking, maybe there's more to me than, than anything. And here, I thought it was just something I made up. Apparently, it does mean something. I never knew that. I got a lot of looking. I got to study myself more. So, now, I'm bringing you guys this video. But anyways, what do you guys do? Do you think that language I gave you for an example sounds like something gibberish? Or it could mean something from, a, from, from ancient times? You tell me. All I can say. Anyways, God bless you guys.